Hi everybody, this is me and Rhino from Goofy Historians, and uh, I was supposed to have a Zoom call today with my brother to talk about what we're going to talk about on World War II. I think we're going to do the last year of World War II, which is really a fascinating subject. Um, I don't want to talk about it now, but it, it's so crazy because, you know, the last year of World War II, the war was basically over. Um, and they, both the Germans and the Japanese just continued to fight. And it was like a lawnmower of death. But we're going to talk a little bit about that. But today, I just had something on my mind that was really weird. So, in a lot of our videos, we mentioned um, Victorian England and how Queen Victoria, just FYI, if you don't know, Victorian England was most of the 1800s in the UK over the reign, the reign of uh, Queen Victoria. Um, and there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, you know, England was the, at the height of its empire during that time. Sun never set on the British Empire, blah, blah, blah. But there was also just a lot of weird stuff that the people did. And, and people know most of it. You know, like the really tight, um, corsets that the women wear, wore and heroin was in everything and blah 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 um, and a lot of wild sex even though they're supposed to be real conservative but one of the things that happened was the the camera was invented and I was thinking about it, it's kind of like um, today where the internet was invented a while back but we still don't know how to use it people are nice on the internet but assholes in real life and vice versa um, so one of the things that they would always do uh, like to do uh, with cameras and, and you always notice that people looked all they, they didn't learn how to smile until that Kodak commercial in the 20th century but um, they would take they would call them mementos and they would take pictures of dead people, like people that had just died, they'd dress them all up and they'd pose with them. It's just creepy. Um, and they, they did it a lot with, with children, you know, because there was kids, the death rate was, was still pretty pretty high. You know, like kids didn't really make it, um, you know, to 10 years old, like half of them died. Um, so they would take pictures with dead kids. And some of the things, the, the photographs took a long time. Um, to, to take, you know, they put, they'd get, the photographer would get underneath this tent, um, this, that, and the other, it would take like a min, minute and a half. So what's so creepy is that, like, the, they couldn't hold still for that long, but the dead person could. So the dead person is real clear, and the people, the live people <laughs> on either side are, are, are blurry. Um, but anything, anyway, another weird thing. And this actually um, started, in, I think, in the 18th century, um, but it continued on into the Victorian era, um, or 17th century, rather, and it continued on. But um, the upper class, the rich folks would have, um, you know, an expansive garden, um, and they would often have a hermit that they would kind of hire to live in the garden. And he would just be a hermit there. He wouldn't be able to shower or stuff. And, and um, so like the rich people, when they're out on their strolls in the garden talking about random events, they'd be like, oh, let's go ask the garden hermit, you know, his, what he thinks of it. Ha, ha, ha. And they'd carry on. Um, just wild, you know. And um, uh, the garden hermit. And... Um, that was before the garden gnome that we know today. That's where it came from, was the garden hermit. And um, yeah, I was thinking that, you know, I don't know whether I want to have a garden hermit or if I want to be a garden hermit. All right, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe.